What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And unless you're living under a rock, unless you have no idea what's going on in the world, you know that the entire East Coast right now is enveloped in smoke. This is outrageous. We are, uh, I, I've never seen anything like it uh, out here on Long Island. I've never seen anything like it. Orange sky smells like, uh, my clothes smell like smoke today. Uh, I've never, I've just, I've never seen anything like it from a, from a fire that's in another country. <laughs> literally in another country but there's a perfect storm literally uh there's a storm sitting off maine and off of nova scotia that's just spinning low pressure pulling the smoke down but that's not what i'm really want to that's not what i want to talk about it's wild it's pretty cool I, I broke out the orange shirt uh to match the smoke today on a serious note uh somebody on twitter and a, a subscriber here sent me a video and he said you gotta talk about this right now because nobody else is and I watched it, and I said to myself, how is nobody talking about this? It's a satellite image that shows the massive amount of fires in Canada, presumably. Honestly, I don't even know the exact spot. Now, I'm no expert, and I'm not going to claim to be one, okay? But what I do notice in this video, and I'm going to play it in a second for you, is that it must be what? 15 fires i'm gonna say I don't, maybe i'm wrong maybe it's eight maybe it's 20 but just don't hold me to the exact number but every one of these fires starts at the exact same second and they're presumably over hundreds of miles apart some of them well why don't you check it out for yourself all of southeast quebec just caught on fire guys all of it insane insane look at that the whole thing, all at once, today, and this is on top of Nova Scotia, New Jersey, and the entire western side. Did you see that? No way! It took me a few times of watching that over a couple times to really, like, really grasp it. That's a lot of fires starting in completely different areas at the exact same second. How's that possible? What's going on here? Was there an event? I'm, I'm asking. Is there, was there an event going on across Canada, across hundreds of miles, and somehow... That doesn't make any sense, right? How are fires starting, so many of them, at the same second? What's going on here? The problem is, normal journal, like normal journalism, would have asked these questions. People would have put this on the news in the past. Journalists would have said, "Hmm, this satellite image is fishy. Let's investigate." But the problem today is that doesn't happen. It's going to happen here on my channel. It's going to happen on other channels. It's going to happen on with people on Twitter. It's going, to be, it's going to happen, right? But it's not going to happen in the mainstream. Why not? Why is nobody asking how did these fires start at the exact same second? Is anybody curious? That is the most fishy video. And the point of this video is to ask you, what do you think? How does that many fires start at the exact same second? No, no, no. Something weird is going on. And guess all I heard today? All I see today is these videos, climate change, climate change this, the fires, climate change. Hmm. Interesting that that's all I do here from the mainstream media and their lackeys, like Harry Siss and these guys. He must have put out five videos today, you know, screaming at the phone, pointing and... And this, that, Republicans don't do anything. Not that I like the Republicans. I'm an independent. But still, a point. And this, that, climate change. It's funny. I watched a video of Le uh, Leonard Nimboy, the guy who played uh, Nim Nimby. Nimby? If I'm saying that right. The guy who played Spock. Uh, and it was from the 1970s. And he's, he's bundled up. And he's in wherever he is. And snowing. He's like, the earth is at risk of turning into a... Uh, a snow globe again, just like it did back in the prehistoric days, and we're at risk, global freezing is coming, and nobody's preparing for this, and the ice caps are expanding every day, and blah, 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 right? Eight times in the past million years, 
it has advanced and retreated with clockwork regularity. If we are unprepared for the next advance, the result could be hunger and death on a scale unprecedented in all of history. What scientists are telling us now is that the threat of an ice age is not as remote as they once thought. During the lifetime of our grandchildren, Arctic cold and perpetual snow could turn most of the inhabitable portions of our planet into a polar desert. In 1977, the worst winter in a century struck the United States. It only took a few short years that that turned into global warming is coming and global warming. And then that changed because it got cold again a little bit. And now it's climate change now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay, listen, the earth is cyclical. I think we all know that, right? The earth <laughs> went from a snow globe to, to, to burning hot, then, then back. And then, and then even in the 1400s, there was the little ice age where everything from New York, they, basically all the way down to New York was in a winter for like, I don't know, what was it, 50 years or something like that? Crazy. Didn't even get into summer in New York for like 50 years. And then all of a sudden it warmed back up again. What did they have? cars back then that did they have power plants back then that was that caused the <laughs> the area where new york is now to warm back up over over a couple hundred years or, or what happened there H how did that global warming happen how did the global freezing happen like the earth is cyclical yes there's climate change and we probably do contribute somewhat to it i'm not a denier of it but to say like that like we should alter our lives in dramatic ways i'm not for that but anyway bottom line back to this this fire nonsense this whole fire thing and then now this is all i hear is climate change about this stuff meanwhile you take a look at the video and there's 15 fires that start in the same second what something is fishy and when something is fishy there's usually a fish nearby let me know what you guys think in the comments catch you later